Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and this is going to be my first makeup tutorial slash video and I'm honestly really nervous but also really really excited because it's the first time I'm doing something like this. Just please bear with me because I don't really know how this works yet, um, doing it myself. But if you do enjoy this video, please stay tuned for more because I'm definitely going to be making a lot more in the future. So please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoy it. And let's get into the tutorial. So first, I'm going to start with priming my eyes. I'm just going to use concealer because I find that um, Concealers really just cover it up and don't show any of your veins or discoloration in your eyes. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to be putting some on my eyes. And then just blend it out either with a brush or with your finger. It doesn't really matter as long as your fingers are clean. So now that we have our eyes primed, we're going to go in with the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I absolutely love this palette. So I'm just going to set my eyelids with a color that's close to my skin tone. I'm going to be using Golden Ochre from the palette. It's really important to set your um, the primer that you use on your eyes, set your eyelids before you go in with eyeshadow because if you don't, it's going to go on really um, muddy and it's not going to blend properly. Okay, so now that we have our eyelids set, it's time to go in with the actual um, colors that we'll be using. First, we're going to go in with a really nice transition shade. And the look I'm going to be doing for today is my favorite look to do. It's a glittery um, pink smoky eye. Not super glittery, just... Um, there's just some shimmer. Oh, well, there's just some shimmer. So I'm gonna be using um, a shade again from the Modern Renaissance palette. It's called um, Burnt Orange. It's this one right here. The trick to building up eyeshadow is that you shouldn't put a lot right away and uh, make sure you blend it out more before going in with more color with more um, eyeshadow product on your um, eyelids because it tends to get muddy if you put too much. So now that we have a crease color on, I'm going to be going in with our first pink shade and it's going to be um, Love Letter. It's this one here and I'm gonna be using my Morphe M433 brush for this this is really good because it's so fluffy as you can see and again I'm just gonna be dipping into the eyeshadow and I'm gonna be tapping off the excess and again I'm gonna be putting it into the crease along with our transition shade So I'm going to be going in with a dark uh, brown shade from the same palette. It's called Cypress Umber. It's this one right here. I'm just going to be um, putting that on the outer edge of the crease. I'm going to be using an e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. It's a little bit more tapered, which is good for the edges. So I'm just going to go in with that color um, on the crease, just barely. And we're going to be creating a sort of V shape. So I'm going to put it on the very, very outer V. Okay, so since the brown kind of looks muddy, don't worry. You can always go in with um, Love Letter, the same pink shade that we used a while ago in the crease gonna go back in with it with the same fluffy Morphe brush. Okay 
Okay, so next I'm gonna be packing on some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using Venetian Red, again from the Anastasia palette. I'm gonna be using a flat shader brush from ColourPop, looks like that. And I'm just gonna be using this to blend out the edges, the harsh edges in the corner to make it a little bit sharper, just a little bit, not full on sharp. So now I'm going to be using ColourPop Sequin, that's what it looks like. This is my absolute favorite ColourPop Super Shop Shadow. It's so beautiful, it's so intense. Look at that. Ooh, it's a bad swatch, but yeah. So now that we have Sequin by ColourPop on our eyelids, I'm going to be going back with the same blending brush by ColourPop and I'm going to be um, just blending the edges again of Sequin. I'm going to be using um, a Kate Digital Memory eyeliner pen. Angle your wing how you want it. So now we're gonna start with the actual face makeup. Um, I already primed my face with the Benefit Professional. So now that I've primed my face, I'm gonna be going in with my foundation and I'm gonna be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation. I'm in the shade 02 Natural, and since this is too dark for me, I'm gonna be using the same. Um, LA Girl Pro can see that I used on my eyelids while I was with prime. I'm just gonna be mixing them together. I'm just gonna put one pump of the foundation on my hand and I'm just gonna use my finger to dot it all over the face. Make sure you mix it properly because it's going to look streaky if you don't. So now I'm just going to conceal and highlight my under eyes and the middle of my forehead just to bring back some um, life and some dimension, some definition to the face. Just going to put a very small amount here in the nose and then I'm going to put some under the eyes. You don't have to put too much. Some here on the chin. gonna blend it So now that we have our foundation and our concealer on, I'm just going to be setting my entire face with my um, Take Me On Tour Contouring and Highlight Kit from Australis. Australis. Um, it looks like it looks like this. So I'm just gonna take the banana shade and I'm just going to set my entire face. So now that I've set my face with the banana powder in the palette, I'm going to be using the contour shade inside, the brown one. I'm not really going to contour or bronze that much, I just want to bring back a little bit more life into this skin. 
skin. This is important because when you put on um, foundation and concealer, it tends to look flat and you kind of lose your natural one, the flat to your face. And then just blend it. So now I'm going to put some more where you usually put your contour, but I'm just going to keep it here, very far. Because again, I don't really want to contour, I just want to bronze the face up a bit more as a definition. If you go a little too high with your um, bronzer or your contour, just take the same banana powder that you use. Whatever setting powder you use, close your skin tone and go on top of it or go under it. Turn it out just so that it doesn't look muddy. Now we're gonna be putting some in our jawline just to add some more definition. I'm just gonna wipe off the foundation of the lips. Okay, so now for blush, I'm gonna be going into this e.l.f. Um, blush palette. Looks like this. It's the mirror museum. Um, I'm gonna be going in with this shade. I don't really like blush. I'm actually only putting blush for the sake of this video. I'm gonna be putting on very, very little. You won't even see it. Just to give some kind of color. Some kind of color. When putting blush on, just smile and put it on the apple of your cheek. Okay, so I went ahead and smoked out my lower lash line. I went and used the same um, shade that I used in my crease, the pink one, Love Letter, from the uh, Modern Renaissance palette, and I put it under. So uh, the video just cut. It stopped recording um, in the middle of me doing my um, waterline eyeliner and my um, mascara. So basically, I just used the Lashanista from Maybelline. This is a really good mascara. The wand is simple. Um, the wand is similar to that of Benefit's Ruler Lash. It's kind of curved and stuff. For eyeliner, I used my Chanel waterproof eyeliner in the shade Ebony. Um, it's the number 10, it's the blackest one. I just put it under here in the lower lash line and I put a lot of mascara on, both on the top lashes and on the bottom lashes. So now I'm going to be doing my favorite, one, well, one of my favorite parts, um, highlighting the brow bone and the inner corner. I'm going to be using my Z palette. The top row is all Makeup Geek eyeshadows and the bottom are all Colourpop. So this is my favorite highlighting shade, especially for the cheekbones. And I also use it for the brow bone and the inner corner. This is called Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek. The brow bone highlight will really just make it pop. Some people like to overdo it, some people like to keep it really natural. It's up to you. I like to kind of overdo it sometimes. So next I'm going to be doing my inner corner highlight. This is so fun to do. It just really adds um, brightness, and especially when you're doing a smoky look like this. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose here and a little bit on my cupid's bow just to highlight the lips. Using the same eyeshadow, Shimma Shimma, I actually use it for highlighting my cheekbones. It's just so intense and so pretty. If you're the type who really likes a very intense highlight, you have to be careful that you don't put like a white strip on your face, unless you're into that, but um, personally, I don't like it on me, so I'm very careful with how I blend it into the skin. Now to finish off the look, I'm going to be using a lip gloss for the lips. So this is the Pat McGrath um, Clear Final Middle Gloss. It's like this. So basically that's the look done. You can change up the lippy with whatever you like. Um, it's up to you if you want to wear a purple lipstick with it, if you want to wear red with it, if you want to wear black with it, just go ahead. I actually like how this video turned out so far and I really will be doing more videos in the future and I hope that you enjoyed watching it as well and I hope you like this look. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.